Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the Co-Prophet of these end times. This video is mainly an announcement that day after tomorrow, uh, this Saturday, I will be hosting a holy hour on my channel, which will feature a live stream recitation of the Most Holy Rosary and other prayers. Because we need to defeat a coven of witches in Brooklyn, which is getting an awful lot of public attention, because they are going to try to put a curse, a public hex, on Brett Kavanaugh, our newest justice of the Supreme Court. And the reason is because he is a Republican and pro-life. And these witches work for the Democrat Party, make no mistake about it. And I want to read to you, this is their own statement on their Facebook page. Please join us for a public hex on Brett Kavanaugh upon all rapists and the patriarchy at large which emboldens, rewards, and protects them. This is pure politics. Brett Kavanaugh was only accused of not even rape, of some kind of possible sexual assault. No proof. If that's what these people were really concerned with, they would put a hex on someone who has been credibly charged with rape. In other words, Bill Clinton. But they won't do that because these people are phony and they are part of the Democrat gang and they will resort to anything, including Satanism, to defeat Brett Kavanaugh. But I take these people very seriously. And now here is part of an article from The Independent. And I believe this was a couple of days ago. So listen carefully and you'll find out where these people are coming from. This, this coven of witches is very evil. And what if they succeed? Think about that. Following the controversial confirmation of Judge Brett Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court, self-proclaimed witches have decided to use their powers to make the justice's life miserable. Oh, it's a lot more than making his life miserable. They want to do him physical harm. They want to hurt him. And they admit this. Operating out of a Brooklyn bookstore described on its website as Brooklyn's premier metaphysical boutique and event space, co-owner co -owner Dakota Brachiale is coming for Kavanaugh. Alongside dozens of others this Saturday as part of a planned ritual to hex the newest Supreme Court judge. I'm not sure what this ritual will consist of. If there will be blood sacrifices, they're going to give part of their money to Planned Parenthood. Uh, will they have a black mass? I believe it will be public, so they will tone it down, but in the background at another location. I'm sure they will be shedding innocent blood. The event, which was advertised on Facebook as a public hex on Brett Kavanaugh and upon all rapists, is sold out. This will be very popular among the evil Democrats who use human sacrifice to support their politics. And that's what this is about. This is a, the Democrat Party is going all out to defeat Brett Kavanaugh and they can't defeat him on the Senate floor. They can ask Satan to harm him physically. That's what this is all about. That's why I am asking you to join me in a holy hour at the same time this Saturday at 7 p.m. on my channel in order to, to defeat Satan. And we have the weapon and that is Mary's Rosary which will defeat Satan. And let me read a little bit more of this. In addition to putting a hex defined as casting a spell or bewitching on Donald Trump's nominee to the highest court, the New York-based witches want to use their craft to make a statement regarding the state of uh, the nation. And it does make a statement regarding our state of na the nation. On the practical aspect, yes, there is spell casting and we are going to curse him and hex him and wish him bad things 
Frank Yale told the Independent. But on a more important level, this is coming together of people who recognize this as an important moment in our country. So here's the question I want to ask. What if this hex is successful? Maybe the next day on Sunday, when Brett Kavanaugh is attending Mass, maybe he trips and falls and breaks a leg. Maybe he's hit by a car in the parking lot. These people will take credit for putting him out of action. In Psalm 40, in your Dewey Rames Bible, there are three verses which describe an assassination attempt on Brett Kavanaugh. Maybe that will occur. In any event, we have to take Satanism very seriously in this country because of the millions of abortions which occur every year. That shedding of innocent blood is what give these witches their power and is what give Democrat politicians who support abortion their power. Do you think people like Hillary Clinton or Nancy Pelosi have any kind of talent at all in leading a nation? Their only success comes from the shedding of innocent blood. And therefore, once again, let me urge you to join me and our World Family Rosary in praying the rosary and a, having a holy hour of reparation in order to defeat evil. And we have the weapon to do it. So I hope to see you then this Saturday at 7 p.m. Please be here.